the chow hall, the chow hall, walking in the chow hall in a penitentiary. There's nothing more frightening than when you just fell and you're on a high security level four yard, level three yard, high security yard, any prison yard, even county jail, when you just fell and you're walking in the chow hall. Yeah, some regulars who've been through it are like, oh, it's nothing, but that's what you don't get. It's because you're comfortable. And that's the main topic of this today. I would walk in the chow hall and fools just, bam, I.E. Fools just got their hood blasted on their face. Fools are fully slung. And it's not even their look, it's their energy that's threatening. Their energy is threatening because of one thing. They're comfortable. And I'm not. And I got to figure out why I'm not comfortable. It's obviously because I haven't been in the penitentiary a long time at this point. But I'm trying to show you that how you walk in a room is everything. A man is the sum total of what he thinks about all day long. Are you thinking of your failures when you walk in a room? Are you? No wonder you're so weak when you walk in that room. Your highlight reel, your highlight reel of your life needs to be playing right in front of your fucking face when you walk in that room. When you walk in that room, everything that you've accomplished, everything you've overcome, everything you are washes over you and you absorb it and you're repowered by it. Everything good you've done. Starve your failures. When you walk in that room, you remember. Highlight reel, starve your failures because it's coming off exactly that. So the point is, how do we make a highlight reel action? It's all about daily action. If you walk, if you walk in, I can tell your energy enters the room way before you do. If you've been slacking all morning, if you were looking at fucking porn all night, if you've been doing some weirdo shit, it comes off in your energy. If you come in like, bam, I've been up, got my workout on point, everything, wind stacked, what's up? That's a different man. You can create that man every day. The program I teach is exactly that. I stepped into a process in the penitentiary that brought me my greatest feeling alive. I was always in pain and I could always overcome it with my process. So our daily actions, our habits, our self-talk, our actions are what strengthen us. Your energy's not lying. You haven't done shit, motherfucker. That's why you feel like it. People think they can outthink negative self-talk. Your self-talk ain't lying to you, bitch. Your self-talk is telling you who the fuck you are. Your self-talk is telling you exactly what you did that day. Your facts hurt. Tell me my facts as I walk in. I'm telling me my facts as I walk in that chow hall full of murders, full of robbers, full of everything, full of assault motherfucking gang member motherfuckers. And I'm in there doing a 10 piece. By the time I leave the penitent, I walk in the chow, what's up? I just come up in. And not that fake energy, that energy like, damn, Wes really lives it. He's got love. If I come up to him in a real way as a real man, he's gonna have some real respect for me. You see these fake motherfuckers out here who try to approach your boy in person and they put too much on it. Stop putting too much on it. Come in as yourself. In every room I'm in, I'm still like this even. You don't think I'm like this? In the gym, I'm like this. People are like, damn, that dude's even loud here like that. I would be disappointed if I met me and I wasn't like this. This is how I was in the penitentiary. I would be on the fucking yard, sitting there at the bars, at the weight pile, and I would be fucking preaching what I preach to you guys now. I brought up a million motherfuckers with checkered pass that were liabilities before I even exited those gates with pure action, pure action and pure energy because they wanted what they were feeling on this motherfucker who didn't have that aura of weakness, that bitch stink that's on a pussy motherfucker. Straight up, straight up. Watch how you walk in those fucking rooms because someone like me is just sitting there sharking. I'm like, oh, look at this pussy. Hey, baby girl, you okay? And don't put off that fake shit. The only way you can put off that real shit is real actions, real accomplishments, really letting everything you've been through, all your struggles, who you are, wash over you. Let that wash. I don't even care if you have no money. 
you're barely fit. And you're a woman. Like, walk in and be like, I gave birth, motherfucker. That shit was rough. I overcame that. Literally, pump your life up. Give your life power. But don't lie. And then see how good it feels to fucking validate yourself from your accomplishments. And then come in and get more each day. More accomplishments. And run off that ethical ego. Pump yourself up for the sole purpose of bringing others up around you. You're always going to have an ego, stupid. You're always going to have ego. Make it ethical. Don't just come in and be like, hey, I'm so jacked. Like, me, 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 I'm jacked. Like, I'll come in jacked and I'll just be like, I got you. Let's do this. I want you to feel this way. I want you to come up with me. This shit feels awesome. That's why I keep preaching this because this is what works, motherfucker. Everyone thinks it's something super high tech. It's really just consistency, discipline, dedication, fucking straight loyalty to your own fucking word, honoring your own fucking word. When I walk in that chow, all motherfuckers are like, damn, dude, this is one. Dude, this dude's got that real size on him. He don't got that fucking fake half-ass shit. Oh, weekend warrior pussy bitch shit. Want you guys to know what it feels to be in alignment with your authentic self. I was always called to be like this. I don't want you to be like me. I want you to be what you're being called to be. For some reason from within, since the dawn of time for me, it was telling me from my heart, my conscience, from above, it was telling me, Wes, come on, put this size on, get blasted, be a better man, get that wisdom, get that knowledge, spit that shit, that looks good, don't let shit affect you, don't let these problems fucking ruin your energy, ruin your day, be strong for others, love them, give them love, show them who they are, build them up. This is what my conscience is always telling me and I just listen now. I don't give a fuck what I want. I just listen now. And when I listen, even on them hardest days, I'm blessed even more. When someone comes and fronts on me and gives me bad energy, or even people that love me disrespect me, I know what they're doing. They're in a bad place with their motherfucking self. And if I don't crack, I don't break character, man, I'm vibing high. I'm telling you next time you're tested, it ain't about what they're doing to you. It's about how you react. Don't fall victim. Be fucking strong. Hold yourself to your word. Go through these fucking holidays like a fucking G. When I say G, I don't mean that fake ass term from those fake hard motherfuckers that always cry in the back. Those motherfuckers that come out with tits talking about, fuck Wes, you ain't even a real prison dude. Dude, you got tits on, boy. Shut the fuck up. Nobody fuck, everybody knows how you live. And that's the real fucking message here. There's no hiding in this life. There's no hiding. You tell your story with your energy, how you look and your results, you fucking stupid fuck, straight up. Now everybody take that to fucking heart and realize that you're in control of creating exactly who you're seeing as your vision of your highest self so you can lift everybody up around you. I love you guys, I'll be here till I fucking die.